Hey everybody, hope you guys are all doing okay. Welcome back to another episode of Ali Solves. Now, there's been a bit of a delay, a bit of a break between the previous episode in the series and between this one. Uh, if you just look at the, the dates of the puzzles in question, and that's because, uh, well, it's because I really wanted the next crossword in the series to be a Thursday puzzle. Um, the reason is because I, I really wanted the focus of the series to be on, you know, the, the more challenging and the more interesting puzzle uh, uh, puzzle days. You know, the New York Times has a thing where puzzle difficulty increases throughout the week. So I wanted the focus to be on the uh, those puzzles. Thursdays being a bit of a special one because they can be difficult, but the main... Uh, thing about them isn't necessarily the difficulty, but the fact that there's usually some special trick to them. So I'd already done a Saturday one, which is, you know, the toughest, you know, in terms of how difficult the clues are, just in terms of general knowledge. I already did a Sunday, which is the biggest puzzle of the week, which carries a difficulty of its own. Now it is time to do a Thursday puzzle. And uh, I haven't seen this one yet. We're about to see it uh, together. Uh, one thing I will mention is that, well, I say I haven't seen it yet. There's a bit of a, a caveat to that is while I was on my phone <laughs> trying to play some of the other types of puzzles, you know, some of the other games on the uh, New York Times app, uh, Spelling Bee is one of my favorites. I was, I, while I was <laughs> trying to open Spelling Bee, I accidentally tapped on... Uh, the uh, on this puzzle instead, and it opened. It was open for like five seconds uh, before I realized, and, and then I closed it. And I think I briefly glanced at what the first clue was, uh, but I, I have already, I have already forgotten. Um, so yeah, that's just a. When I open it, it might say, it might start the timer from five seconds instead of zero seconds, depending on whether that timer crosses over <laughs> in between, you know, the app on the phone and the browser, right? So that's just a bit of a bit of a thing I wanted to say. And with that said, I am ready to start solving. So let's go. This is for Thursday, December 7th by Rebecca Goldstein. Let's go. All right. And yeah, it looks like it, it did count the five seconds that I was in earlier. So very, uh, very thorough record keeping being done by the New York Times here. All right. So this was the clue for one across that I already saw and then I forgot. Along with Big Bird, roll for Puppeteer Carol Spinney. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head, but if I got some crosses... Maybe I could do something with it. Talmudic honorific. Talmudic? Talmud. I'm not sure how... Like, it's the, the Talmud, right? But I'm... Somehow the IC at the end is <laughs> making me very unsure about how to pronounce this. Alright. Hmm. This is another tough one. Rental contract surely is a lease, right? EMT's apparatus. I think it's a, a def like defib short for defibrillator. Maybe? We'll see. Toodaloo, I think, is going to be C... Yeah. Sears. Uh, I think has to be eyes. The question mark means it's a bit of a, a bit of a pun, like like Sears. Uh, usually, the word seer means uh, you know someone who has a mystical ability to see into the future. But in this case, literally, it's things that see. That is, eyes. Less green in a way. Older. I think. And then this is probably Oscar, right? Uh, 
having uh, like my Sesame Street knowledge has waned over the years. Alternative to a latte or a flat white? Hmm. Cafe. Certain freestyle competition, I think. Rap? Battle doesn't fit. To repeat, as I said, I th that has to be it. Ones who couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, let's I think liars, maybe. Let's let's go with that. Toodaloo. Could be Tata. So, but. Let's look at this one. There was no other choice. I suspect is uh, I had two, and then this probably is Tata. Rap. Uh, this is a uh, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Let's let's look at this. Designer Anna. I have no idea. Survivor dwelling. I think. Has to be a hut. URL opening. HTTP. Cafe. Maybe. Hmm. Let's look at this. Kinda is gonna be like ish. Cafe. You know what? Maybe this is wrong. I don't know, man. Something about this is a. Uh, Let's let's look at this. Arrive nonchalantly. I'm gonna need some more on that. Dangers. Possibly perils and fall fruit. Possibly this. One may cry foul. Possibly a referee. Al fresco. Drinking a drinking establishment <clears throat> grilled corn maybe I'm wrong about this plant with the teeth maybe I'm let's okay let, let, let's think about this Oh, oh, right. This is a Thursday puzzle, which means there's going to be some sort of a... There's going to be some sort of a trick. But none of the squares are marked. So, this is the revealer of the puzzle. Pseudo-scientific process hinted by force. So, this might then explain why some of the clues some of the uh, entries are seeming to not make sense so let's keep that in mind let's 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 keep that in mind peace noodle prow's position i think this is a, the, like the prow of a boat um where henrik ibsen is buried i don't know that either. Patriotic World Cup chant. Hmm. Like. Uh, let's let's. Ooh, I am feeling. I am feeling a little bit out of my depth. But okay, this kind of error or attraction has to be this fatal error, fatal attraction. Swing wildly and helplessly, probably flail. And puff? And is this gonna be. Well, I mean, like USA is a chant that is often done at international sporting events where. The United States is a uh, thing apart. 
Is it Oslo? Let's, let's, let's think about it. The... Oh man, there, there, one problem is there are a lot of names of people like this, which I simply don't know. Play group. Yeah, maybe, you know, it's like, how, how confident am I that it's Oslo based on what? I, I don't, um, let's, let's come back to that, but let's, let's keep, this uh, in here, all right. Right, that might include a hot tub. Limo, I think. Play group? Is it, is it, a, is it a team, maybe? Okay, oh, this is gonna be a roof. Rooftop bar. Rooftop. Patio? Something, I don't know, something is a miss. Uh, is a, a miss. Yeah, see, I, I don't know what this is, nor do I know what this person's name is. So that's stifling me a little bit. Workplace. Hang on. So, let me see. Put aloe as a plant with quote unquote teeth. Workplace. This could be sight, and then this could be stroll in. And then this is going to be rap battle. And then. Okay, I. I understand what's going on. This is going to be alchemy. So rap battle has to be PB. So we, we're going to have to use the rebus. So the... Where did it... Oh, oh, it, it opened up the rebus uh, right right on the square. On the, uh, on the phone app, it does it differently. So P... I'm trying to do a lowercase b to make it more consistent with the periodic table of elements, but I think by default it forces you to put a um, uppercase b. So pb completes rap battle, and then so pb is the uh, periodic uh, table symbol for lead and alchemy one of the things alchemy or that alchemists tried to do was to transmute lead into gold and the periodic table uh, table symbol for gold is au and i know neither of these uh, symbols sound like the actual elements because it's called lead and yet it's PB and it's gold and yet it's AU. It's because of, I think, like some weird uh, Latin names for those elements before we changed to other names in English. Then suddenly this makes more sense because it is rap battle on the one hand and then cafe au lait on the other. And then I, the I would complete this. And suddenly, yes, we see how rooftop bar is a possibility. Oh, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? Because we put this. And then using the rebus, PBAU, and then rooftop BAR. And then U S A U S A. All right. And, oh, okay. And a noodle would be a pool toy. And I think this might be L C four. Sounds good, I guess. Actress. 
Fanning. Earl? L? We'll, we'll come back to that. I might, I might have to brute force it in the end. Quality of mattresses. Oh, probably firmness. According to is going to be per. Lead is it? Harper Lee, yes. That makes sense. Code for Sky Harbor Airport. That I do not know. Illumination unit. Illumination unit. Uh, clean or clear is probably going to be cut. Lumen? I mean, L U M? But like Sky Harbor Airport? I, I don't know. We'll, we'll come, come back to that. Radiate has to be emit. Now, when we solve the rest of this, we've got to be on the lookout for two more instances of uh, clues where this is going to apply. Wool wear for winter. Reputation ruiner. Hmm, I'm going to need more. Waterfall effect is probably missed. Blueprint bits. These specs is probably P code, or is it? Let's let's put this in. Okay, this is okra, so I'm a little bit a little bit confident about that. Um, wheel part is going to be spoke. Reputation ruiner, uh, stain, I think. Caterer's container. It's, okay, this is going to be another one, because this has to be T-Earn, and the A-U will help complete this. Campfire site is going to be tent. Locate spot. So, again, let's... Oh, oh, what am I doing? Ah. Let's go back to the Rebus. Put in another P-B-A-U. Pop. Bottles, I think, right? Soda containers in the Midwest. And then a tea urn. First prime oh, is going to be two, I assume first prime number. Available, I think open, maybe? Plunk down is probably plop. Loomed. It's going to be wove, I think. Like loom, to loom means something else, but I think this just means used a loom. Like you weave cloth at a loom or something. Pet pro again, it's probably going to be pet peeve instead of, you know, a problem with uh, an animal. Underground. Okay, this is going to be another PB situation. Push. Because uh, this is going to be push up bra. So let's put a, another PB AU. And, mm hmm, it's probably going to be, yeah. Alright, made out, necked, I think. Subject of Guillermo Heroico, probably Che Guevara. This is probably YMCA, often referred to as, I guess, just the Y. Assistance is going to be aid, Pokeball protein is going to be feel reverse course it's going to be uh, make a u turn taking advantage of this if Beale street ah, street could talk this is one of those things that i only know because it's been in the uh, crossword before and this is going to be a cluster uh, a cluster of stars Doctor, I don't know. Authors is going to be pens. Okay, Bunsen. All right. Ah, right. Bunsen burner. That I, that it makes sense why the Muppets would have those names. This is going to be Stan. Complete stranger is going to be Rando. I mean, I, I guess it's pronounced Stan, like, like, like Pakistan, Afghanistan, but, uh, yeah, I'm just 
be bit bitten sharply. St stung? Uh, maybe, I don't know. Agita is gonna be angst? Or is it a hard G, soft G? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up after the puzzle. Giraffe gatherings is gonna be herds. This probably is show, uh, stung, and then that would mean this is show, and this would be or not. And so now the question is, what do we do about these last two squares? Illumination, lunet, uh, uh, lunet? Unit. Let me think. Let me mentally run through the alphabet to see if anything makes sense. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, it could be X, maybe? You know what? Let me let me try let me try X. Let me try X first. And if that doesn't work, we'll try M. P H X. Does that sound like it could be? You know what? Let, let's go with that. And now, since I don't know what this is, and since I don't know what this is, I'm just gonna <laughs> brute force this. Oh, 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 I'm going to brute force this, Q, W, E, and this. Is. Okay. I mean, it ended in a bit of an anti-climax. Because, uh, because I simply did not know this word, I simply did not know this name, and I made a lucky guess that this was Lux. I, I thought it would be M, but then the more I thought about it, like, if, if it was L-U-M as a, abbrevi as an abbreviation for Lumen, they would have put it put something different in the clue to indicate that it was an abbreviation, and they didn't. So th that was my reasoning there. I wasn't that confident, but it turned out to be correct. And then L, L, -E L, Fanning, I, I don't know how it's pronounced. I, f I feel like they could have had much easier clues for this. Like, y you know, it's a it's a word in French. It's a magazine as well, I think. They could have talked about how it's a palindrome as well. So, pretty difficult clue for, uh, you know, th what ended up being this answer. And then this is another one of those things where, like, you either n you either know the thing or you don't. And now, I, at least for now, at least for today, I'm going to know what this is. All right, now, having uh, done all of this, having solved the puzzle, admittedly brute forcing in the end, I'm doing all these blind. I'm not a, I'm not, you know, doing, like, I, I, even if I wanted to, I wouldn't have the time to, like, solve it separately and then pretend I hadn't solved, you know, and I, I don't even think I'd be a good enough actor to pull it off. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing this blind, and as a result, sometimes you're going to see me having to brute force things. But usually there's only one or two squares at, in, in a puzzle that are such that they both intersect with some term or some name that I'm unfamiliar with, and I can't really use logic right? Because this could have been multiple letters, it could have been... I guess it's constrained in the sense that it was unlikely to be a vowel. I mean, it could have been a, it could have been a Y, it could have been... could have been R... It could, it could have been... plausibly it could have been multiple things. So, you know, I just had to run through the alphabet until it gave it to me, but 
you know, that's something for me to learn now, that this is uh, gr grilled corn as a Mexican street food. Good to know. Now let's talk about the puzzle as a whole, and of course with any Thursday puzzle. Okay, let's talk a bit about some of the non-theme related things. Some... I thought this was difficult. On the more difficult side, in terms of uh, the clues. Because a lot of them were question mark clues. And because I'm used to answering, you know, these pun, wordplay, you know, play, like, these sort of nerdy word joke clues, I got through them pretty quickly, but they can be pretty tough if you're not used to them. And then there were a lot of, uh, or several clues, like this one, which I thought they could have had easier clues for. However, Thursday puzzle, it is in the later, the latter half of the week, so you can also expect there to be some. T uh, this one, Oslo. Like, what a what a difficult clue for this. Uh, like, uh, I don't know. How am I? Why would I know where where this person is buried? Like, but I was like, okay, out of all the places on Earth that I do know, Oslo fit, and it turned out to be, you know. So anyway, so you you get my point about how the clues were a little bit difficult and difficult, but also a nice you know variety of things cool like a group of giraffe a group of giraffes is a herd i mean i, I guess that, that it's not that it, other animals also are in herds but you know like giraffes are cool you know so so there's that uh, this is another clue that i knew but that you know they could have had many other ways if you know of turning this answer into a clue but they went with that one you know which is fine All right now i think it's been enough beating about the bush let's talk about the theme alchemy transmuting lead that is pb into gold that is au and what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually um I'm going to go to Wikipedia. I think Wikipedia is going to be a good place to show this. So let's look up lead, the periodic table. Lead is a chemical element. It has a symbol PB from the Latin plumbum. We don't, we don't need to read the rest of this. This isn't a chemistry lesson. But let's also note that it's PB because of plumbum, and then gold is AU because of aurum, I think? Yes. Symbol AU from the Latin aurum. Number 79. So, a bit of a... a bit of trivia, a bit of background onto why these are the symbols. If you didn't know these symbols, you would struggle in a puzzle like this. Not just knowing the symbols, but also having the intuition to sense that there's a rebus. Now, because I've been solving uh, puzzles for a while, including Thursday puzzles, I, I knew something like this was going to happen. The moment I got to the revealer in the middle, I was like, okay, there are going to be four squares in this puzzle that either there's going to be a rebus or some weird thing where you have to read the clues in some in a way that splits off and not reading straight. In this case, it turned out to be Rebus, which is one of the more straightforward tricks that you can have in Thursday puzzles. But yeah, like if you didn't know these symbols, you, you definitely have a tough time, especially because the, the symbols are also going in a Rebus, so that's like double, double the difficulty. But having said all that, Potentially difficult trick, yes, but very satisfying aha moment. And I think that is my favorite part of all the Thursday puzzles, the aha moment. And 
there's a bit of a... It's hard to explain, but there's some randomness that comes when you solve a crossword puzzle in the sense that... Like, I start in this corner and I work my way kind of outwards like this, generally. And sometimes, just due to some weird insight you had or some weird thought you had, sometimes you come across a theme answer and then you discover what the theme is before you're supposed to. And that can kind of take away from a bit of the, uh, a bit of the surprise of the puzzle. I thought what made this puzzle more fun was that I was genuinely clueless. I was like, I, especially like with this and this, I was like, rap? It's got to be rap something. But then non nothing fit. And then I eventually was like, am I? And then I had put a P down because I was that confident that it had to be something to do with rap. And then I removed the P. And then removing that helped me see what I was missing. And because I was in the... And also I think I'd started to reason that this didn't make sense as well, and then this... And then having made that connection, going back to the previous clues that I couldn't answer without this piece of information, made it a lot more fun. Compared to some puzzles where, like, through some dumb thought I had in my head, I, I put something in and it turns out to, you know, solve it. And then, you know, it kind of ruins the moment a little bit. But this one was great. This one reminded me of uh, another Thursday puzzle from a few weeks ago. I don't remember which day specifically, but it was an Evil Knievel-themed puzzle. And uh, the... Uh, like... It, I went almost the entire puzzle, like the theme and like the themed answers were literally right on the bottom of the puzzle, and that was another case of like I was the whole puzzle I was like what's 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 the trick gonna be what's the uh, what's the uh uh you know trickery the chicanery going on in that puzzle and then Right at right at the end, you know, the the delayed aha moment made it all the more satisfying. And this one, I got it pretty quickly, but I was in the dark for a while before I got it, which I think is the key for a like a really good, you know, tricky Thursday puzzle. And uh, I think that's about all. I should also, I guess. At the end of the puzzle, make another mention of the person who composed it. In this case, Rebecca Goldstein. Excellent puzzle. Good job, Rebecca. Um, and with that, I think that's just about all that there is to say about this one. Um, so it's, it's time for me to start signing off. And now that I've done one of each one of each type of puzzle. I've done a Saturday puzzle, I've done a Sunday puzzle, and now I've done a Thursday puzzle. Now I'm going to be a bit more, a bit less stringent with myself about which kind of puzzle I do in any given week. So if I know I have uh, some busy weeks coming up, then I might not do Thursday puzzles for a while. I might just limit it to Saturdays and Sundays. And the other thing is, there are Thursday puzzles that I've done, which if I had known in advance that they were going to be this good, I or that I would enjoy them this much, <clears throat> excuse me, I would have I would have taken the time out to record them. But unfortunately, the realization that they are that good usually comes halfway through solving them, and then I don't <laughs> I don't really think I could then start a video on a puzzle that I've already halfway solved and figured out what the clue is. I think, like, even when I watch other people solve tricky puzzles, the entire joy is in watching them make those discoveries, right? So, so you see the, uh, the dilemma that I'm in. Like, if, if I could contact 
my future self and ask him for advice, then yes, I could be like, oh, this upcoming Thursday puzzle is going to be great. I'll, even though I'm busy, I'll make time to do that. But sadly, I, I'm pretty sure that kind of thing is, if not outright ruled out by, you know, our modern understanding of physics, then at least <laughs> looked at in a highly skeptical way. I don't think time travel is really g gonna happen anytime soon. But anyway, that's enough about that. At the end of all of this, it is time for me to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you uh, enjoyed uh, this uh, video. Hope you, if you've already solved the puzzle before watching this, I hope you enjoyed doing it because it, it was a great puzzle, like I said. The, uh, the person who made it did a fantastic job, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, hope you had a great time, and I hope you'll join me for the next episode of Ali Solves as well. And uh, until then, take care.